Farms all across the country produce thousands upon thousands of crops every season. From apples, tomatoes, to green beans, farms are an abundance of healthy, nutritious crops just waiting to be picked. But after the day is done, what happens to all those perfectly good fruits and veggies that have fallen to the ground? For numerous farms in the state of New Jersey, those unclaimed crops get harvested and donated to those in need through a program called Farmers Against Hunger. The Farmers Against Hunger program was started in 1996 by the farmers who were out at a farm and they saw that there was a lot of surplus produce that could be going to good use. So um, the group came together with the New Jersey Agricultural Society, got trucks on the road, and now today they're collecting produce statewide for delivery to community organizations serving people in need. Farmers Against Hunger collects that surplus produce from farms all across the state. We have over 50 farmers and also wholesale produce donors and, and grocery stores who donate to the program Fresh Produce and we also collect breads from a couple other retailers. We have farms statewide from all the way down from Cumberland County and Salem County all the way up to uh, Morris County and Warren County, Sussex County even. Jeff, a farmer from Fernbrook Farm, has been working with the Farmers Against Hunger program for roughly five years and has donated upwards of 25,000 pounds of fresh produce. It's great. Um, I enjoy it because we hate to waste food and we hate for people to go hungry. So the convenience that they provide is uh, one of the greatest features for us because we can call them, they'll come pick it up, and they take a wide variety of produce and, and we grow a wide variety of produce, so it helps us to do something good and eliminate waste. While many farmers harvest the crops they donate themselves, a few farms allow Farmers Against Hunger to come in and collect the produce through gleanings. So the way gleanings work is we'll put a, um, a call out for volunteers. A farmer will call us and say, you know, I have this leftover crop that's not going to get harvested, it's just going to get plowed under. Can you get people out here? So we'll put the call out for volunteers. Um, Facebook's been a really big help for that. It's easy to, you know, get people even the night before that way. Or we have uh, corporate volunteers, is what, what we have today. And they can organize teams, which is nice, so they can get 10, 20, 30 people out here. So they'll come out here, um, depending on whatever the crop is, apples we pick from the ground because the farmer sells them from the trees and you know they'll litter the ground and they're perfectly good apples and they're just going to go to waste. Kim Bogdan, a gleaner for Farmers Against Hunger, has been volunteering for the program for about two years. I just think everyone should get fresh food, no matter where they're getting it from, and all this produce goes to waste, so why not help get it off, get it back, in, get it back out in the community so everybody can enjoy fresh produce. After they have collected and loaded the produce, drivers from Farmers Against Hunger distribute those goods every week, either directly to a local food bank or to four central distribution stops in Camden, Mount Holly, Browns Mills, and Trenton. So we bring the produce, we fill up a big box truck, um, bring the produce to these locations, which is a church, and about eight to ten other churches come and they distribute all the produce uh, among each individual church, take it back to their food pantry, and then that produce, the healthy produce, gets uh, supplemented into their food pantries. The families and the people who frequent those food pantries are the main reason behind all the hard work that goes into the Farmers Against Hunger program. I had an opportunity to visit a soup kitchen last week and see their chefs preparing the meal and knowing that 300 people are going to come in and eat that produce. That same produce was, was on the ground that day. Some of those apples had fallen to the ground after a busy U-Pick weekend. Our team of anxious volunteers comes in, harvests them, you know, works cooperatively, gets to see agriculture, is in touch with our mission, and then all of that goes back to those recipient organizations. So it's a really um, great community-wide effort between the farmers, our volunteers, the people that are able to distribute that food. We couldn't do it without the whole team. I really like to stress the interconnectedness of people and how what they're, everything that they're handling today is going to be in someone's plate the next day. So I really try and connect people on the farm to people that are in need.